you don't have to sell. It's all in how you systemize it, okay? And it, because the customers who are calling you are already sold. They're already sold. It's, it's us that screw it up. <laughs> Hey, 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 plumbing pros, welcome to the 383rd episode of Potty Talk, and we got a, a, I think a pretty powerful episode here for you. We're going to be discussing how to make more money, which we all want, with our plumbing business, Mm -hmm. without high pressure selling. Okay. All right, that push to feel like we got to sell. If we want to make more, we feel like we got to sell more. Mm -hmm. You don't have to. No. Okay. So we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about that. Okay, let's do it. All right, can't wait to get to that. Mm -hmm. Hey, but before we get started here, Mm -hmm. I just want to ask you, um, if if you like what you're you're seeing here or hearing here, please share it. Mm -hmm. If you like it, share it. Leave us a review. There we go. All the things. Follow us on YouTube, wherever you're listening. So really appreciate it. Help us get the word out. Mm -hmm. It is it is my it is my goal to help as many plumbing entrepreneurs as possible. Yes. Okay. So they don't have to go through all the the problems and the issues. Okay. (laughs) So help me get the word out. All right. Mm -hmm. So there we go. How to make more money Mm -hmm. with your plumbing business without high pressure selling. Okay. You know, this thing, if if you listen to many length of time, I don't, I don't, and I didn't feel I had to do it even with, with with our plumbing business of this, the selling of sales and Mm -hmm. sell. You don't have to make, make salesmen out of you guys. First of all, it's, it's, it's a waste of time. Your guys aren't going to become salesmen. Mm -hmm. They want to be salesmen. All right, as they were falling through life, you know, as we all kind of, instead of falling into plumbing, they would have f- fell into the car dealership, mm-hmm. okay, or fell, fell into, you know, Some becoming sort of a real estate role. agent, right, right. Mm-hmm. you know, and had, they would have fallen into that, okay, they don't want to be, um, you know, salesmen, mm-hmm. and I can say of all the, we've done the sales training, all, I, I, I never, the, the guy, you know, I, overall, it's never worked, of course, mm-hmm. they'll sit there and listen and smile, because normally it's a free lunch or something going on or whatever, you know, that kind of a thing. But, but it, do, it doesn't work, okay? And it, well, you say, well, there's a long, I got this guy now. He's doing better. Well, he already he was naturally a salesman. Right. You know, one out of 10 guys coming through your system there, mm-hmm. okay, your shop and all, um, is just going to be a natural salesman, mm-hmm. okay? Just gonna, or, and maybe not necessarily natural salesman, just really good with customers, really understands, you know, what, what it's like to, um, to give customer um, choices and, and all that. So, right. yeah. It will work. So, mm-hmm. you know, we, we get into this, th- this, this potty talk is not going to be about the, you know, the systemizing, we, you know, we have a thing, you know, selling made easy, correct? you know, in the success um, academy, right. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, that kind of a thing. And you don't really have, you don't have to sell. It's all in how you systemize it. Okay. And it, because your customers who are calling you are already sold. Mm-hmm. They're already sold. It's, it's us that screw it up. Okay. <laughs> right. And so on that, mm-hmm. let's, let's get to it. Okay? okay. So what are things you can do to make more money? Mm-hmm. Okay. With your plumbing business without high pressure selling, okay? okay? And the first thing is mm-hmm. the right customer. Mm-hmm. Work for the right customer. Okay, now don't just don't throw that off so right. easily, mm-hmm. uh, you know. Something's like, well, duh, I mean, <laughs> no. of course I'm not going to I'm not going to work for the wrong but, customer. But are are you fishing for the right customer? Mm-hmm. Okay? And I'm going to go for, you know, I, I'll tell you right now, you know, uh, you know, new construction, warranty work, um, commercial commercial all that kind of you're not going it, to it, it's 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 extremely tough. It's a different game and it's tough to make money. You may have money f- flowing through, but it's tough right. to make money. Yeah. Okay. You're just so, a laundromat where it's the money's washing right through. <laughs> exactly. Mm-hmm. All right. And you're just seeing it going. You're not being able to collect r- really anything. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, so we, we've talked about this, you know, really it's residential service. Okay. That's mm-hmm. where you can come from nothing and go to a lot. I mean, you can go from the poor house to the penthouse, mm-hmm. literally within a couple years, right. literally. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, that, that's residential service, the only place you can do that. Okay. But even within that, it's working for the right customer. Right. Okay. And so how you're, how you're fishing, which is your marketing, mm-hmm. you know, uh, you know what, what, what kind of marketing that you're doing, mm-hmm. um, you know, uh, who you're marketing to or what marketing company you're, you're using. So it's just, you know, things like, uh, you know, home advisor, I know that kind of stuff out there. That's not Angie's necessarily list. Angie's list and those, you know, the, the, those are coupon searchings. Like, do, you know, doing the, remember the Val Packs? Wow, yeah. You know, remember, mm-hmm. I remember the Val Packs back in our, you know, 15 years ago, mm-hmm. 20, 15, 20 years ago, they, they would be literally, you know, a pack of, you know, three, four, five. I mean, I mean. Right, th- there was something that came in the mail that had right. stuffed with coupons from local businesses. Right, mm-hmm. and usually it's, it's, it's who, that, who got that kind of stuff are the people that are just looking to really, really, really save money. Right. You know, mm-hmm. same people that are calling Home Advisor or Angie's List, which, mm-hmm. you know, and that, that, that kind of stuff, mm-hmm. okay, are, are just looking to save money, okay? So they're not the right customer, right. okay? Mm-hmm. Um, you know, um, if I see it in marketing, which just kind of kills me. I just want to, you know, when I see it online, 
or you know these guys how they're you know advertising saying you know the cheapest in town Ooh, yeah. you know lowest prices lowest price in town i'll beat any price right oh <laughs> that just kills us every time you might as well just be saying you know give me all your poor your <laughs> your, 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 right. your huddle masses <laughs> just, right bend and, me over and, and <laughs> i'll pay i'll pay all your bills right. okay guys That's, please stop if you have that on your truck right. go take it off if you have that on advertising go take it off right because right. yes um that that is a race and that is a race you do not want to win. Ooh, well, well it is, put. Exactly. It is not a race you a race to the bottom, which is what that is, is a race that you that you don't want to win. So stop with the um, uh, we're we're the cheapest, we're the the lowest price. We'll beat any price. Give me you know send me an estimate you know from a competitor and I'll beat it by ten percent. You are a dead man plumbing if you do that. I mean, that's just right. stupid. Yes. It's stupid. Now I get it. We we try to get as much work as possible, and we think we've got to cater to the to the lowest denominator, right? That's not how you grow a business. No, it's, it's not how you grow a business. I, I mu- I'd much rather work for one customer a week who pays my my price that has all my expenses covered, mm-hmm. than than work for ten that I'm losing on. That we're losing because if it's, you're losing money, you can't make it up on volume. You, you can't. <laughs> and, it's a, and then it's a hobby or it's a charity. Right. right. Worse. Right. And you're putting your family at risk. You know, that's one thing that, that kind of drives me crazy about some of the guys that are like, well, I, I just, I can't, I can't rip people off and I can't overcharge. And then they've got their family living in practically squalor. Right. Because they, they just don't feel right about charging what their company needs to charge. Right. You're, you're harming your family. You're harming your family. You're har- harming your the um, the financial stability of your family and you're, you're harming them long term. You know, what are you teaching your kids? Right. And again, this isn't all about money. It's not so you can make more money. But a business is a business is sole responsibility, main responsibility, not sole main responsibility is it needs to be profitable. That's what a business is. Yeah, there's all other kinds of things that go into that. Yes, being, you know, providing good um, jobs for employees, having a good work atmosphere, providing, um, especially with plumbers, providing a good um, service to the community, of course. But a business needs to make money. It needs to make money. And I guess mm-hmm. that's the point is the money that, that is, you know, the, the net profit. Okay, that's making more money. Right. Well, we need to work for the right customers so we can charge what we need to charge. Mm-hmm. So we can more than cover our expenses. Right. So there's profit. Right. That's making money. I mean, we know we've, we we work with them. You know, I love you know working with these guys. You know, and they come on and or we hear them talking and they, they got all the home builder. You know, the big, the, the work they're building a million oh. you know, million dollar homes or yeah. whatever, mm-hmm. and they, they're in with the you know the home builders uh-huh. or whatever. And so they're you know they may have a, a twenty thirty million dollar company, but they're not making any money. Mm-mm. They're not making any money. And if they are, they're making right. very little money. Right. Right. Very little money, and they're they're jumping through hoops. You guys, if you've done any work for any builders or whatever, you know what it's like. You know what it's like for you know you, the, you have a, a spec of, of a job that needs to be done, and you do those. Well, now all of a sudden, the homeowner is wanting something totally different, or the GC screws up something, or the electrical company you know pops a uh, nail in the you know in, in one of the lines in the wall or whatever right you're now responsible you've got to go back out or they want to just hey can you come back out and just can you reset this and can you just come back out and just do this All and that loss. then there's no change orders and then you're never getting paid and you're at their beck and call oh, guys you know what i'm talking right. about right but but i got to i get i get all their jobs right and that's exactly what you're doing you just own your job yeah. that's all you're doing so we're talking about making money with your plumbing business and working for the right customer mm-hmm. it's it's not just owning a job that you that you own your job i mean you guys i mean we see, I mean, we, we talk to them, you know, it's sad when by the time they get to my age, because they're more beat up, but yeah. they're still in the truck. They've had the night, they have a nice home. They may have a boat. They got, they got the two cars, mm-hmm. you know, maybe a motorcycle. They go on spring break, they go to Disney world mm-hmm. or go wherever, but they don't have any money. Mm-hmm. You know, yep. we're, we're talking about, about making money here. Right. Okay. Yep. So how can you make more money with your plumbing business without mm-hmm. high pressure selling, mm-hmm. working for the right customer? Mm-hmm. All right, next, finding and hiring the right tech for your team can be challenging. Applicant Pro makes it so simple and easy. Your personal Applicant Pro hiring professional will do the brunt of the work for you. Writing job ads that will get you maximum applicant exposure. Manage the advertising of your jobs to over 20 major and local job boards. Even a pre-hire risk assessment is included to ensure your candidate matches the role expectations and your company values. To learn more about Applicant Pro and to take advantage of special discounts just for Potty Talk listeners, go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash 
Applicant Pro, book every call <laughs> for today. Book every call for today. I want to say that again. No. <laughs> book every call for today. Today. Yep. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, it's just me and there's a hundred calls. I'm not going to get the hundred and first call. Book it for today. Right. Because you're figuring out which, which call is going to um, serve your company best. Right? right. If you have, you're using an extreme example, but if you have a hundred calls um, coming in, then obviously you need to hire some plumbers. But let's maybe not go as extreme. Right. If you're getting to the point where, you know, you, you're starting to be stacked up for two or three days out and you're thinking, Ooh, this feels good. This feels good because I got jobs on the, on the board. Oh, that is a dangerous danger. Place to Will be. Robinson. Danger, danger. What the, the good that you need to see out of that is something's working. You're marketing or something's working, working and you need more plumbers. You need more plumbers. If you're constant, if you're, again, if you're booked out more than two days on a medium consistent basis, you need more plumbers. Well, it, you know, Definitely. We're book- Another reason we're booking every call for today mm-hmm. is that is that that's the value. Okay. Mrs. Jones is looking to get the call taken care of today. Because she's going to find another company that will. Right. So it's booking it. So you're, you're grabbing that customer. Okay. And we'll get to what we're going to do with that customer here in a moment. All right. Well, that's not, doesn't sound, doesn't sound fair. It doesn't sound nice. Mm-hmm. This is professional plumbing. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's not about, you know, it's, um, you know, you look at an emergency room, they've been, and we'll get to it as a, kind of a good example, but they take, they take everyone mm-hmm. today. Now, it may be forever till they get to you, mm-hmm. but they take everyone today, mm-hmm. okay? This is the same thing. The value is in that I can get this taken care of today. Well, and the emergency room is looking at what's the one that I need to move to the front of the line. Right. You know, who do I need to move to the front? And that's mm-hmm. what you need to do with, with yours as well. We'll get to that. Okay, okay we'll oh, get to don't that. Don't jump the shark. Got All it. right, okay. so, yep, so book, book every call for today, okay? Mm-hmm. Hey, I'm glad you're here, and I hope you're getting something out of this, all right? If, if you haven't yet, go back and listen to it because there's a lot to get out of this. <laughs> <laughs> we do but, but, all right, but we're glad you're here, mm-hmm. and for being here, I have something for you, so check this out. Hey, Plumbing Pro, you wouldn't plumb a house without a blueprint. Why are you trying to build your plumbing business without one? Grab your free copy of my Million Dollar Plumber Blueprint. In it, I lay out the exact specs on how to build a successful, self-sustaining, and very profitable plumbing business. Don't risk years of waste of time and money and failure. Grab your Million Dollar Plumber Blueprint now, and it's free. My gift to you for simply being a Potty Talk listener. Go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash free. Plumb like a champion. All right, we're back. Okay, and we're talking about how to make more money with your plumbing business Mm -hmm. without high pressure selling. Right. Okay, and we Mm -hmm. talk about working for the right customer. Okay. And in marketing the correct way to attract that, that customer, mm-hmm. okay? And then we also talk about booking every call for? Today. Tomorrow? Next week. Right. Today. <laughs> okay. Book every call today. Mm-hmm. Okay? okay. Extremely important because the value is in today. Right. All right? That's one of the reasons you can charge what you need to charge. Yes. Right? That's right. Okay. Okay. Because you're not selling plumbing. Nope. You're selling the experience, taking exactly. care of their issue today. Mm-hmm. All right? Yep. All right, so that brings us to, so what are we doing with those calls? And that yes. brings us to our third point, okay? okay? Mm-hmm. And this is extremely, I, I could see as soon as you, you could just do this. Even if you didn't book every call for today. Well, I mean, we're going to book every call for today. <laughs> but if you took a look at your calls and you did this one thing, you would double and triple your average ticket. Ooh, and we're going to talk just, about that just, next just like, week. Just like that, yes. Okay, no, well, yeah. <laughs> no I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, <laughs> I was going to leave them hanging. Okay. Just kidding. <laughs> what is okay. it? Tell us. Okay, triage the schedule. Mm-hmm. So you're going to triage those calls. And what I mean by triage, well, I just used, you know, the, the emergency room example here where they, they take everybody in, okay? And so we'll get to you. We'll get to you, okay? We're going to get to you today, mm-hmm. all right? But you may be sitting there, okay? You've walked in with, uh, you know, with a hangnail, okay? <laughs> and, you know, you know, your toe really hurts, all right? Um, but you're sitting there, and you've been there first, mm-hmm. but someone walks in with a gunshot wound, Sorry about your toenail. They go, right, or a heart attack mm-hmm. or, is throw, I mean, sick, mm-hmm. I mean, whatever. They, they go, they jump to the head of the line. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, that's not fair. Well, I yeah. was here first. Right. Well, it's, it's, that's professional medicine. Okay. They're triaging those calls. Mm-hmm. Okay. You need to do the same thing if, if you are a professional plumbing company. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
You need to triage those calls. So what, what does that look like? Well, we see this all the time. The guys will, you know, you get your schedule. They, I, it's just okay. right. I know I, I know what I'm doing and I know where the parts <laughs> are at and how it feels. And I just feel so cozy because I know exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> and it's all lined up perfectly right. on, the, on the dispatch board, right? right? Okay. <laughs> you know, but what you have on there is a drain call, you know, a, a sewer smell, <laughs> a leak coming from somewhere. And my cat's stuck up on the roof, you know, <laughs> whatever. But but you know what you're doing, mm -hmm. okay? It's all planned out. Right. And so, you know, a, a main line stoppage comes in and or, a, you know, water heater's leaking. Water heater. And, well, I, we can get you taken care of tomorrow morning, Mrs. Jones. Yeah, because we're full. I, See ya. Uh, <laughs> okay, that's, that's why you're losing. Right. Okay? Mm -hmm. But we're taking all those calls. So that's why I don't really say take every call because we get in the habit of taking, taking every call, okay? Right. Mm -hmm. And then as the day is progressing, okay, you can see what, you know, how the calls are turning out, but also what calls you're going to, you're going to the money calls. I mean, it comes down to, this is, this is professional plumbing. Right. It's okay to make money. It's not who called first. Mm -hmm. It's not who called first plumbing. It is not. <laughs> okay. If you, if you're operating like that, you're, you're a dead man plumbing. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's taking the, it's taking the money calls. Right. And right? then you're communicating, obviously. So you do have, you know, some of the calls you mentioned on the board and then an emergency call comes in and, you know, again, one might be an emergency, right? We've got water pouring from the ceiling or the, the water heaters burst or whatever it might be, right? That's an emergency call um, that you're going to move more to the front of the line. And so you need to communicate with the other customers effectively as well, right? Just don't leave them hanging. Oh my gosh, don't be one of the plumbers where the the, the customer says, I, I scheduled an appointment and I never heard back. And or, never heard up, never showed up. Uh, Not saying to do that. You don't have to be that. In fact, that, those, those, are, those are hacks. That. Yes. Okay. That, that That's hack plumbing. Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. what, what this is, is, you know, we have you scheduled, you know, from this morning, you know, sometime between 8 and five, you know, eight to 12 or maybe 12 to 4 or something like that, mm -hmm. whatever that window is. And then you're communicating. So as we get, um, you know, say Mrs. Jones has scheduled them um, from the eight, 8 to 12 window and it's now 10 o'clock. You know that you're not going to get to her because you took that water heater call. Right. Then we're gonna we're gonna be calling her and saying, yes. "Hey, Mrs. Jones, we, we've gotten stuck on a job, or we got you know things of emergency, got, gotten a little yeah emergency call, whatever. Mm -hmm. oh, we still have your schedule. Just wanted to let you know that that we probably it's probably gonna be the afternoon, mm -hmm. okay, in, in the afternoon window, okay. You know, um, as long as you're communicating right. effectively, you you usually don't have an issue. Um, but again, what we want to say is, you know, this the this hopefully doesn't happen very often because your your business if you're if you're having to triage calls that yes. means your business is growing and it means you need to hire more plumbers because you do want to get to everybody right. you do want to be able to service because you never know that sewer smell may turn into something that leak from somewhere may may turn into to something right right and given the opportunity to be in someone's house to take care of their issue check their other plumbing all of that so triaging the calls isn't something that um and you're having to move people constantly, that is not how we want you to do business forever because we want you to... Well, you'll always will kind of be moving. You'll always, right, you'll always triage. But, but not getting, right. But not getting caught up in or not having to move people to another day. If you're having to move people to another day, you need more plumbers. Your right. business is growing. If you don't want your business to grow, then um, stop marketing, right? Stop doing the advertising. Um, not take some of those other calls, Right. But if you're if you're in business, more than likely, you want your plumbing business to grow. So that that's what's going to happen. And, and we do want you to make sure that um, you you're paying attention to how often are you having to move calls to another day. You know, again, if it's happening more more often than not, you need another plumber. And it's okay to have a guy. Uh, we always say one guy fat, which means extra one one extra guy that's at the ready. The middle, right? You always want to be um, a half to one guy fat, mm -hmm. where you feel like a guy sitting and see the our. Our minds are right. Well, they're gonna gotta gotta got keep them busy. They're gonna go quit if I don't keep them busy. And what? Or they're they're, they're complaining. They're gonna complain all the time, anyways. Right. Whether you're busy or not busy, the guys complain. Okay, you, you got man, you got to get over that. All right, you know, and it's also a, a great KPI. Mm -hmm. This this thing of triaging the calls. If if you're if you're having to reschedule two to three calls, uh, you know, two times a week. Mm -hmm. All right, that's a great indicator that I, okay, I can hire someone. Get another right. truck and hire someone. Yep. That's, all right. Numbers don't lie. Right. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to be, I wanted to push that. So we're scheduling all the calls for today. Mm -hmm. We're working through, we, you know, we're going to triage the calls. And so like a, the example of, you know, I gave out Mrs. Jones, you know, in the morning, you know, it looks like we're not going to have an emergency. We're going to be in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. Well, we may get to about 3, 3.30 in the afternoon, and we're going to call Mrs. Jones and say, look, you know, it's, you know, we've had an emergency today. We're so sorry. 
But what I want to do is reschedule you for tomorrow. First thing, we'll make you priority. Mm -hmm. At which point, you can we'll make them priority. And I'm going to give you you know ten percent discount discount off anything you may need just just for the hassle here. Sure. And again, we apologize. We'll see you first thing. Mm -hmm. You know, we'll see you tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm. You know, and are are they happy? Not ne ne necessarily. necessarily. Like no one's happy calling a plumber in the first place. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, but if you've communicated with them, you won't lose. You, the fear is. Well, I'm going to get all bad reviews and fear, right. no, you know, no, it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's communicating with them. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so you do that. Um, but those are the, you know, if, if you're interested in making money with your plumbing business and certainly more money with your plumbing business, mm -hmm. those are the three simple things that you can do. Look, this isn't rocket science. This is why, you know, I, I really push against the grain. You know, I hear these other, the other gurus and coaches and the business, you know, the, what? There's other ones? Yeah, right. Here? You know, and they're talking about knowing you got to know this and know the, you know, and all the number, all the sexy talk and it makes, and it's meant to make them sound smarter and all. I, I get that. I know the, the stuff too, mm -hmm. but the reality it's, if you just do these simple things, you will be successful. And we've mm -hmm. seen it time and time and time and time and time and time and time again. Right. You know, and again, it goes right. back to, and we say this all the time, knowing your why, why do you right. have your plumbing business? Right. Do you want it to grow it to one of the, you know, really large plumbing, plumbing shop, you know, 30, 50 trucks, whatever. If you do, that's, great you know go ahead go ahead and, and do that your your why can be <laughs> whatever you want right. if your why is more you know i just i kind of want a, a nice plumbing business that i can manage it doesn't get too much out of control so that i can live this type of life whatever that is right um then then you'll build your business around that um and then you'll know the customer that you're serving you know when a certain phone call type of job comes in you don't want to do it because our, our schedule is going to be pretty full i've got my guys working how I want them to work. We're not doing nights and weekends and on call and all of that, right? So you got to know your why of, of what you want out of life and then design your, your plumbing business around it. Right on. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. So there we go. All right. The right customer. Mm -hmm. Book every call for today mm -hmm. and then triage the schedule. Yes. All Simple right. that? You'll be a billionaire before you know it. <laughs> right. <laughs> hey, we've seen it just doing those things, even just the triage thing. I'm serious mm -hmm. about this. We've seen yeah. it firsthand. Mm -hmm. You double, even you know, triple your your average ticket. Right. Okay, that's why you won't hear me focusing on much, on, you know, on trying to push the guys to increase their average ticket because then that that gets into selling and you got to manipulate the customer to buy this kind of thing right. and move up. We don't you, do you don't you don't have to do that. Okay, mm -hmm. an easy way just to, right now that you can do it to systemize it is triage the calls, right. pick the money calls, <laughs> go out on the calls that are bigger yeah, money. Make they, the they, money. They could possibly could turn into bigger money. Right. Okay, mm -hmm. that, that's just smart business. I think okay, so too. and that's professional business. Okay, all right, there we go. Mm -hmm. Hey, if you want to, um, you know, if, if you're looking to take your business to the next level, um, or you know, you've been kind of working on these things, you, you feel like you've been stuck at the same level, um, or even if you, you're starting out, okay, we're, we're here to help. Mm -hmm. uh, that's what we're all about here. So we you know, you schedule your free strategy call. You can a free strategy call with a million dollar plumber strategist. Um, strategic advisor, I believe. Um, and Oh, that sounds fancy. It's for very fancy around here. Um, go to the million dollar plumber dot com forward slash call C A L L. Get a free strategy call. There we go. Love to talk to you. Do it. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Hey, it's a good one there. A lot of lot of stuff there. Mm -hmm. Three simple things to do. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just do it. All right. <laughs> hey, but before we let you go, as always, I want to remind you that you were purposefully and wonderfully created and you were created to do great things. Get out there, plumb like a champion. Bye, everybody.